Hey, Phil here with videoschoolonline.com and today I have a tutorial that's a follow-up to the proxy workflow tutorial that I created. And this is specifically if you are using interpreted footage. So if you're taking a higher frame rate and you are slowing it down or converting, interpreting it to a slower frame rate to in turn slow down your footage and you're trying to do so with proxy files, it can get a little bit wonky with those different frame rates. And so this is the workaround to fix that. If you haven't watched my Premiere Pro proxy workflow tutorial, I definitely suggest that you do that because you'll need to know how proxies work. This is just if you have issues with frame rates and interpreting your footage. So here I have this drone shot and I've created a proxy already just using the basic sort of file that I imported, which is at 59.94 frames per second. So if I wanted to now, and you can see that it plays smooth with the proxy, but when I don't have the proxy on, it's all kind of jumpy and jittery after a few seconds. So what I would typically do with this shot, if I was editing like normal, I would right click, go to modify, interpret footage, and change it to something like 23.98, which is a frame rate that I like to use. Now, if I do that, you'll notice that I can now actually extend this video clip quite a bit, and that's because it slowed down the video clip itself, and it's actually gonna be in slow motion. But the problem is this is with the original file. If I wanna turn on proxy now, something happens. The spot in the video, it jumps and it's not the right time. So here I see the peer. If I turn on proxies, it's like way forward in this video clip. And that's because the proxy files frame rate was not interpreted. So a workaround is, well, we have to go back and kind of start from scratch. So let's go ahead and delete this just for the sake of deleting. We're going to actually create a proxy file again so we're gonna say create proxies. We're going to click okay. And now we're gonna go over to Adobe Media Encoder where it's going to open up and start creating that proxy file. Gonna stop it though. Yes, I'm gonna stop. Nope, I'm not gonna stop. keep going, I'm going to stop. And the thing was because that was creating a proxy file with those settings which were the original frame rate 59.94. So what I wanna do now is actually right click this video clip in Media Encoder, go to Interpret Footage, and now you can see I can change this footage to 2398. So it's going to assume it is this frame rate. Click OK. We're gonna right click, choose Reset Status, and now we're going to press Play, and it's going to export out this at the other frame rate, 2398, which is the frame rate we're interpreting the original 4K footage to. So I'm gonna let that go through. All right, so that's gone through and created the proxy. I can go back to Premiere Pro, make sure that it's connected to the right proxy, which it is not, I don't believe. So I'm gonna right click this, go to proxy, choose attach proxies. We're gonna click attach. Then we're gonna find the proxy file, which is this proxy dash one. Click okay. And now it's attached to the right one. I believe it wasn't connected in the first place. And so now if I take this, I put it on my timeline, it's actually going to ask me to change the sequence settings because yes, I want it to match the 2398 that I want. So if I play through this, this is the original footage, still in slow motion. And now if I toggle proxies, we're at the same spot and again, it's in slow motion. So we're working with slow motion footage for the proxy file as well as the original footage. So now we can go through, edit this with the proxy file on and then export it and it's gonna be nice slow motion. So that's the workaround for working with proxy files that are for footage that has been interpreted to another frame rate, such as slowing down or speeding up. Well, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial, and if you did, please like and subscribe to the channel for more. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below in the comments. And if you're looking to take your skills to the next level, make sure you head over to videoschoolonline.com where we have premium courses, more free tutorials and articles, guides, and all kinds of stuff that will help you become a better creator. 
Thanks so much for watching and have a beautiful day.